Today I'm going to give closure on my claim that the suffixes ing and ly have no place in a factual language and create negative states of condition by modifying language, modifying facts. Google defines ing as denoting a verbal action, an instance of this, or its result. To understand a little bit more about what ing is, we'll look at the what is called a gerund, which if you put ing at the end of a word, it forms a gerund. And that is a form that is derived from a verb, but that functions as a noun, i.e. adding the ing suffix. So you're modifying a verb into a noun with the suffix ing. That is language modification. And what do you do when you modify the facts? When you change the facts? That's perjury. That's fraudulent use of language. Moving on to the suffix ly, Google defines it as forming adjectives from nouns and adverbs from adjectives. So you're modifying a noun into an adjective by using ly, and then you're <laughs> double modifying by modifying an adjective into an adverb. Language fraud. I did a video, uh, Parse Data 14, which I'll put a link to. I'll put a link to that up there. Going to go. Okay, so we're adding an ing to this word go. Going to go. So by that logic, you should be able to add it to anything else derived from a verb, but that functions as a noun. So I should be able to say. I'm ising to is. I'm aring to are. Because in factual language, there are only two verbs is singular and are plural. To further add closure to my claim, I have written my claim in the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, mechanics. And my claim says this. For this claim of the language modification is, with the gerund usage and with the ly suffix usage of the fiction language mechanics with the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge by this claimant. And backwards that says, for this claimant of the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge is with the fiction language mechanics of the gerund usage and of the ly suffix usage with the language modification by this claim. Now, as a postscript to that, I will add that in some instances you may have to use this word because maybe you don't have the knowledge to find a positive performance word in which case, you would underline it. So, like this. Going to, going hyphen to hyphen go. There's a whole lot of no contract going on in that right there, but I underline it and it turns it into a fact if I define it in a dictionary to go along with the contract document court vessel that I put that in. So when you underline it and claim it, then maybe you can use it. But I personally avoid the ing in the quantum grammar usage because it is no contract. It is a modification. It is a gerund. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, contact me in the private and the confidential at the email address listed in the description below this video.